The Big River Steampunk Festival packed the streets of downtown Hannibal this Labor Day weekend. This is the fifth year of the festival and it features many family events, vendors, and activities. Yet one of the largest draws of the event is the chance to dress in costume. Steampunk is a science fiction genre that incorporates technology and designs inspired by the 19th century industrial steam-powered machinery. The sky's the limit for festival goers in costume, many using recycled items to create their look. The Covington family traveled from Winsville, Missouri for the festival, and Father Dale Covington says that seeing the different costumes is an inspiration for him. What's neat about it is, is that nobody really has a set thing you can add, you can take away, you can get part of a costume, come down here and find stuff that kind of fits with it, putting it together, and it's the creativity that's really cool with different people having different ideas and maybe things that you didn't even think about but somebody else did and you're going, ooh, I like that, I want to add that to mine. But these costumes come at a price. Some costumes at the Steampunk Festival took hours to make. One participant estimated it took 20 hours to put together his ensemble. Another participant said her outfit cost over $300 total. But Mother Lisa Covington says the outfits are a way to bring her family together. I just think it's cool. I, my husband had an outfit made and they made guns and I think that was another thing for us as a family. It brought us together um, to work on a project together and encourage each other and have fun doing it. So it's, uh, it's been good. It gets everybody off computers and video games and put down cell phones and actually work on something with your hands and be creative. So it's been a lot of fun. So we may make more outfits. This was the first Big River Steampunk Festival for the Covington family, but even their son Devin said he was feeling inspired by the creativity of other participants. I've seen some that I might want to maybe try and maybe what they've had I might want to add to mine. Reporting for TNN, I'm Jill Alexander.